guys welcome back to my channel it's Shelby um so I am gonna just vlog this weekend just a random vlog um Chloe who's here um her and I are gonna go to some thrift shops and maybe a bookstore and some other places today um and so yeah I thought I'd bring you along for the ride It's called Pathway Consignment. Um, we're here, it's in like an old little church. but we're on Cherry Street in East Hills. Okay, so Chloe and I went to the one that I bought stuff at that one. I don't think I've vlogged since there. Mm -mm. Then we went to a bookstore and we didn't get anything at the bookstore. Um, there wasn't really much. No. That like we liked. Um, and then um, we drove past a store that we were thinking about going to, but we realized we'd already been there before, like a long time ago with our friend Brooke. And then now we're at one that I just like found and it's kind of a little sketchy. I'll show you the building. Actually, the building's right here. You're already looking at it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go in there. We both kind of are anxious about it, but it's good. Mm -hmm. But this is the big old building. And we're gonna go to the Lost and Found Treasures. I might try to convince her to go in a century, but. Elevated. Chloe has wanted to go to this one for a while, so now we're here. <laughs> Okay, so we went to a couple more thrift stores, or maybe one more thrift store, I don't know. But we are at Mod Pizza. Did you just record something like that? <laughs> maybe. Um, we're at Mod Pizza. We're gonna have lunch with John and Addison. And then I think we're gonna go to Crumble and Trader Joe's and then probably home. Um, FaceTime. <laughs> you can FaceTime Blake. <laughs> Why are you gonna FaceTime Blake? I just wanna say my turn out Okay, that's it. John, that's weird. Kinda practice. So we just went to Trader Joe's. I spent a lot of money. Really? Yes. I only spent $23 for all of that. Oh, I spent like $70. Maybe that's excessive. No, that's correct. I spent over $70. Um, but yeah, I will do a haul video of everything that I bought at Trader Joe's. But now I'm going to go to Crumble because I really want a uh, red velvet cookie. Okay, so I got my Crumble and I got red velvet cookie. I will try these later. It's just kind of chaos right now. And then I got a sugar cookie uh animal frosted animal sugar cookie 
I think. They said their systems messed up and they kept yelling names and no one with those names were there. So they, the employees all seem stressed. Okay, I just found my Trader Joe's haul um, in the garage, um, but I just wanna show you guys what I got from thrifting. Um, I only bought stuff at um, Pathway Market, which was the first place we went. And I got this little condiment dish. Um, I think this would be really cute for my earrings then and I only got that this was a dollar and then I got one of these is broken um let me pull that one out because I can maybe fix it I don't know um I got two silver chains um kind of doubt these are real silver but I like them they're cute um for 275 which I thought was a good deal um because I'm a silver girly and um i've been wanting to like wear necklaces <clears throat> and i just feel like they're just a classic statement piece and the one that broke is just like i don't know if you can see like a generic chain um that like you would put like a something on um so i might fix that i might just say screw it it's fine and then this i got for three dollars um super cute art piece um my bedroom has like this mustard color and teal in it um and I just really liked the these colors and I liked how it hung it like that um they had a second one that was a little bit of a different pattern um but I didn't get that one um I kind of feel like I should have got both but Chloe told me I didn't need to feel bad for leaving one there um so I just got the one but I think this is super super cute um, that's my haul from the, uh, Pathway Market. Um, I really liked that one the best out of all of them that we went to. Um, yeah, that one is in Marnie, I believe. Um, and I would recommend that over any of them that we went to just because, um, the prices were really good. Um, and yeah. Okay, so crumble taste test. Um, I'm gonna taste test the uh, sugar cookie one. I normally like their sugar cookie, but I don't know, this one seems a little weird. Mm. I, I would give this like a four. I thought it would just be like their sugar cookie with sprinkles in it. Is this what it looks like but it is like crumbly and dry i'd give that a four out of ten that's really disappointing <clears throat> now the red velvet cookie y'all i love red velvet so if this is not good i'm going to be very sad um frosting is good It's got a good red velvet flavor. It's a lot better than the other one. The cookies this week, I just do not think were like their best cookies. Um, I would maybe give this like a six or a seven, maybe a six. It's got good flavor and it's soft, but it's not what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting, like, moist, like, good red velvet. Um, so it's kind of a bummer. Because I am a red velvet girly. But I'm going to try to read a chapter of this book. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've been trying to read this for a week. And I'm only 70 pages in. I've been trying since Monday. Monday morning I started this book. And, like, last week... I read five books, which I was off with quarantine, like quarantine because I had COVID, but I still read five books. And I only am 70 pages through this. That's really disappointing. But I'm going to try. Um, I think I'm going to try to get to like 
130, 140. Let's see where a good marking is. Um, and then kind of decide. It's just not it right now. There's not. And the chapters <clears throat> are oddly very long, um, which is frustrating because I like short chapters. Um, so yeah, 145 is where I will try to make it to um, before I decide. Okay, I also want to try this. Um, it's the By Antioxidants uh, Strawberry Lemonade. Um, my friend Brooke had these. Um, she had the cherry one uh, when I was last at her house. And it was pretty good, so I wanted to try a few other ones. Let me, let me open that up real quick. Okay, well let's test her out. coconut in this taste buds are still this like still off from having covid so i don't know if that's what's wrong with this or if this legitimately tastes like coconut I don't i don't like this i don't recommend this unless if you like coconut yeah okay guys good morning um i woke up this morning like feeling like slight head coldy um I think it's from like the dust and stuff from the different shops yesterday I don't know but like I feel fine um energy is fine and everything but yeah um I also stayed up last night and read a good chunk of this book um I read a little bit more this morning but currently I'm on page 127 and it is picking up the story is picking up it's still not one that like I am in love with but the story is picking up so hopefully I'm able to read more of this this weekend um but I just woke up I'm about to have breakfast um I'm gonna have a Chobani yogurt um I guess I didn't just wake up I woke up maybe an hour ago and I've just been like reading and hanging out with my mom and dad but I'm gonna eat this um and then I'm going to I'm gonna take a shower because we gotta leave in an hour to go meet Jesse. Okay, so we're at Olive Garden. We already we ate. I got uh, angel hair pasta with meat sauce and meatballs and breadsticks and salad. It was very good. Oh god, chicken parm. <laughs> and I got Alfredo sauce for all of us. Jesse. <laughs> Burned. Just is here too. She got, got food. I got a glass of Riesling. And I made my face warm. Yeah, your face. A glass of Riesling. Riesling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a glass of Riesling. Yeah, hang out with these two. Actually, three. Bye bye. We're at Target. I'm going to Target's burnt. It didn't see your tongue. Ew, why does I don't know where we are, but Chloe and I stumbled across like a market thing, like on the sides of the roads in Michigan Ave. Um, so she's getting us lemonade, but that's that's about it because. We're not parked legally. <laughs> it's so good. It's so sugary. Mm. Oh, it's like fair lemonade. Okay, so I just got back from hanging out with Jesse, and so we went to Olive Garden at 8, we went to the Halloween store, we went to Schuler's, um, we all wanted to find Jeanette McCurdy's book, um, but they said they were sold out and wouldn't have it in stock until like September, uh, like mid-September, so, and then I looked on Barnes & Noble and they didn't have it in stock either, um, we went there, we went to Bath & Body Works, um, which I'm gonna have a haul on my channel, um, probably after this or after the Trader Joe's haul. I don't know, we'll see. 
Um, and then we went to Target and Five Below and Chloe went to Marshall's. Um, and then we went to Nothing Bunt Cakes and um, I got two. Um, I'm gonna try one. So I've had the red velvet one before. I think I tried that one in my um, birthday vlog. And then this is their new flavor um, that they have right now and it's a limited time. It is lemon raspberry. She said that it's their lemon cake um, with raspberry puree going through it. It's very good. Yeah. You get like subtle hints of the raspberry, but that is very good. I highly recommend that. Um, I think we're going to watch some um, Alexandra Rodriguez with my mom in a little bit. Um, I guess I could do a Target haul oh, real quick. Target was crazy. Um, it was a move-in day. Um, and so, <clears throat> like, it was absolutely insane in there. Like, MSU move-in. Um, and they, uh, there was a really long line when we went to check out. We so I got two of these, um, they're called Scarecrow Crunch, uh, trail mix. And I like, uh, their trail mix. Um, I really like the monster one. Um, but this is peanuts, peanut butter candies, milk chocolate covered cereal squares. Um, kind of like, uh, puppy chow. Uh, white chocolate oat cereal and milk chocolate marshmallow bites. Um, so I got two of these because I was like, I am pretty sure I'm going to like that. So I might as well grab two, um, just to have them. And then Chloe told me that my classroom, uh, finished off the pom-pom balls. Um, so I got a pack of 400 pom-pom balls for $5. And then I got, um, this little house thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use it for some sort of decor. Um, but I was thinking maybe like string lights in here. Um, like some battery operated ones. Um, kind of my color. So I got this. Um, and then I also had to get, oh, this one is $5. And then I had to get a little pumpkin. Um, that's also the teal color. Last year I got a pumpkin, um, so I'm going to put this on my shelves, and um, I left it up all year long, so this will be up all year long. Then <clears throat> I got All all Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I've heard really good things. Um, yeah, <laughs> I figured I'd just pick it up. Um, I believe it was 20% off and then an extra like $5 off or something like that. I don't know, but there was like an extra coupon I had. Um, that I was kind of surprised about. And then as we were walking, we were walking past skincare, and that's always an issue for me. Um, <laughs> I just really like skincare, so I don't even know what I grabbed. Um, I grabbed Bioma Hydrating Serum. Um, <clears throat> I think this is something that I've almost bought multiple times. Um, it's just a serum. This is the Hero brand. Um, I really like their patches and stuff. And this is a post-blemish recovery cream. So, um, it helps restore the skin after having, like, a blemish. So, I think that'll be interesting to use on, like, after I have a blemish and use, like, their pimple patches to use this, like, that next day. Um, to kind of see what it does. If it really helps the healing process or whatever. <clears throat> and then I um, got two mystery squishmallows. Why? I don't know. I've never seen them before in store. And decided to buy them. They smell the same. Are they all supposed to smell the same? I don't know. But I will be opening them on my TikTok. So go watch my TikToks. Okay, so Chloe and I started Miss Marvel and that was very good. We watched three episodes um, and I really enjoyed it so far. Um, I'm excited for episode four. I like how long the episodes are too. Um, we started that. 
Um, what else have we done? I started that. Oh, I edited my quarantine vlog, my birthday freebies video. Um, I edited both of those, which <laughs> I would say is pretty impressive, honestly. Um, because after, normally after like one video, I'm over editing. Um, what else? Have I, I really haven't done much. Um, I kind of scrolled on TikTok a little bit. I started season four of The Good Place. I just realized I never watched season four. Um, so, yeah, I'm watching that. Um, yeah, it is 11.40 and I'm gonna go to bed. Hey guys, so um, Chloe and I are going to church. We are at Big B right now um, getting uh, coffee because we both need it today. Um, we're in line. Chloe thinks that we're gonna be out of here by 10.15. I think it's gonna be later than 10.15 because there's a line. Um, but there's Chloe. Okay, so Chloe and I went to church. Um, it was pretty good. Um, what else? Oh, we came home after church. Um, oh, the worship candidate, um, I think he did fine. Um, I, we didn't stay for the business meeting, so I don't know if he got the position or not, um, but he seemed to do fine. Um, and then Chloe and I came home, we had lunch with our parents, um, my dad left for work, Chloe and my mom left to go do some things, I don't really know what they're doing, but um, yeah, I stayed home, I am watching uh, The Good Place, and then um, my groceries, I think think are yeah my groceries are ready um and so I'm gonna go pick them up and then probably meal prep I just have um I don't really know what all I have to meal prep this week I'm doing salads for lunch I have to check and see what I need to do for breakfast um and then I need to mow and I need to finish my laundry I did start a load of laundry also I don't think I ever showed my outfit for church I don't I think you'll be able to see it. A crop from Old Navy on, and then a skirt. Maybe this will. A skirt from Tori that hits below the knee, and then my purse. That's what I wore to church today with my purse. Okay, I also have a Torrid order I need to open up. Um, I ordered this just like on a whim. It was when I was quarantining. I was like, you know what? I want some new stuff. And I have some things coming up. This dress is a lot thicker than what I wanted it to be. Um, my cousin Molly is getting married in September in Tennessee. And I wanted like a fall-ish dress. But because it's Tennessee, it's still going to be hot. Um, so... It's like a fall, like it's darker, but it's still floral. I don't know how to show this. So I wanted some other stuff too, but in October we do like a witches weekend thing in Mason, Michigan. Um, and so I wanted like some spooky-ish, not like spooky, but like I could wear all the time, but also like specifically for that. Um, so I got this like pullover um, thing, like a kimono. Oh, I didn't realize that the arms are ruched like that. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it just, let me see if I can put this on real quick. I'm just going to probably just throw it over instead of undoing it. And it's hard to see because it's black, but it's like a flowy, okay, I kind of do like it. Flowy little jacket thing to throw over my dress because I bought a dress for this event as well. Um, it's just like a Halloween weekend. Um, a bunch of our cousins are doing it this year with us, um, which is fun, but I bought just, um, it's just a, like a t-shirt dress, um, that's flowy and black. I'm going to wear it with like black leggings or tights probably some boots or something um 
like gauzy material. Um, I just thought it was cute and I wanted a new black dress. <laughs> hey guys, so I mowed, um, I showered, prepped up my lunch and breakfast. My lunch for tomorrow and Tuesday and my breakfast just for tomorrow. Um, put away a couple items of clothing. <laughs> um, I still have clothing in the uh, dryer. And then I need to clean my room. Let me give you a quick pano of what we're working with right now. My bed has like, I threw these on here earlier because I needed to move them. Trash from my order. Um, towels I need to put away. Work bag that I need to go through and get ready for the week. Just like random things. Dirty towels that need to go in that clothes basket once I get the clean towels put away. Dirty clothes, shoes all over the place, <laughs> my stuff from yesterday, books that I'm trying to sell, receipts and stuff that I need to do. And it's just, there's a lot going on in this room right now. Okay, here's my floor. It's not perfect, but it does look a lot better. <laughs> um, I have trash that I need to take care of, but other than that, I just need to vacuum and that stuff's stuff for work or my pills that I need to refill. For dinner, I'm having the Philly cheesesteak bao buns um, from Trader Joe's. And then I've got this sauce that I made. Um, it is Catalina hot sauce, like Frank's Red Hot. Um, a little bit of yum yum sauce and a like dash of salt. Um, yeah. And then I've got a pib to drink. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because um, I'm just gonna watch The Good Place um, probably the rest of the night and um, read and relax. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, check out my other vlogs, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.